Hello everyone, I am Baveshta Sharma, associated with Mali Body School and I hope you all have been watching our videos. Today, we will be discussing on a new topic, the cell. So let me write this first. Now, what is a cell? A house is made up of bricks, it may be made out of stones, it may be made out of wood. But every house is made up of something or the other. Similarly, all living organisms are made up of cell. Okay? Even we are made up of cell. So cell is the structural. And we have another term. And functional unit of life. Structural and functional unit of life. Now what do you mean by these terms? Structural. A structure. We are all made up of cells. So all living organisms from a small bacteria to a huge elephant are all made up of cells. So structural. Now we come to the term functional. Now I'm speaking. You all are looking at me and you all are hearing. Okay? Who's doing it? My tongue. I'm using my tongue to speak. But my tongue is also made up of cells. So who's actually doing the function? Mother cells in my tongue. You're looking at me. Your eyes are made up of cells. So the cells are actually doing the function. You are like hearing me. The ear is also made up of cells. So who's actually doing the various function? The cell. So every living organism is structurally made up of cells and whatever function we perform is actually done by the cells. So cell is the structural and functional unit of life. Now, who was the first person to observe cells? So before observing cells, now can you see the cells in my body? Can you see the cells outside in the tree or the plant? Or can you see the cells in a dog, in a cat that you may have as a pet in your home? So we need a microscope. To see or observe cells, we need a microscope. So there was a person called Antony van Leeuwenhoek. or lens through which you see. Like in a magnifying glass you have lens. No? Similarly in a microscope also there are lens. So the microscope that Antony van Leeuwenhoek constructed had only one lens. Okay? So that is why it was called a simple microscope. Okay, so who was the first person to construct a microscope? Antony van Leeuwenhoek. And how many lenses did his microscope have? Only one. And what was his microscope called? A simple microscope. Then later, another person came. Okay, then he made another microscope. And his name was Robert Hooke. So Robert Hooke, he made a microscope with two lens. Okay, so Antony van Leeuwenhoek, he was the first person to make a microscope. His, his microscope had only one lens and it was called a simple microscope. Later, Robert Hooke, he made a microscope which had two lens and his microscope was termed or named as compound microscope. So using this 
his microscope, Robert Hooke, he observed a cork. Now what is a cork? Now the bark of a tree. I hope everyone knows what is the bark of a tree. Suppose this is the trunk of a tree. And then the trunk is covered by brownish hard thing that you can peel off. So that is called the cork. Okay. So he took the cork and he observed it under the microscope that he had made. He observed these type of structures which looked like a honeycomb. So behind, so honeycomb, so it looks something like this. Okay. And in those times, bombs used to live in small, small compartments like this, okay, and which were called cell. Okay, so Robert Hood, since what he observed under the microscope when he, uh, when he was looking, uh, when he was observing a cork under the microscope, his, the structure that he saw uh, resembled these cells, so he called it cell. So Robert Hook was the first person to use the term cell. Okay, so he was the first person to observe cell and he was also the first person to give or coin the term cell. So once more, Antoine van Leeuwenhoek was the first person to construct a microscope. His microscope had one lens, it was called simple microscope. Robert Hook made a microscope with two lens, it was called compound microscope. Using this compound microscope, he observed cork. He observed, under the microscope, he saw that cork is made up of honeycomb-like structures and he called it cell. So Robert Hook was the first person to use the term cell. Okay, now what is the actual shape of cell? Now, what Robert Hooke saw is like this. Are all cells like this or they are different shapes and sizes? So, cells may be of different shapes and sizes. So, a cell can be small spherical like the red blood cells in our body or the erythrocytes so they may be round biconcaves like the erythrocytes they may be irregular that means they may not have any shape like the white blood cells or the leukocytes then it may be oval like you may see it in a oval shape okay let's do bacteria we have then it may be oblong or elongated like a microscopic organism called paramecium. It may be thread-like, long and thread-like like our nerve cells. And you may find the different, besides these, you may find different other shapes. So we are just discussing a few round spherical, right? The erythrocytes, irregular, that means without any shape, leukocytes, rod-shaped or oval-shaped bacteria. Then we have oblong or elongated, found in paramecium and thread-like, like in the nerve cells. So these, besides these, there are different other shapes also, but these are the common ones. Then we come to the shape. Signs of bacteria. Sorry. Signs of a cell. I'm so sorry. 
size of a cell. Now, the size of a cell is measured in microns. Okay, like if you measure, suppose in maths, sir tells you or your teacher tells you, draw a line of 5 centimeters. So you're measuring in centimeters. When you and uh, like when you travel from place to place, like you will see, suppose you are going from here to Darjeeling or from here to Siliguri, 24 kilometers. So how is it measured in kilometers? Okay. So similarly, size of a cell is measured in microns, and this is the symbol for microns. Now, the smallest cell is that of bacteria. So, bacteria has the smallest cell, largest cell. This was the smallest cell. Now we are talking about the largest cell. The largest cell, uh, by the way, egg is a cell. Okay, so the largest cell is the egg of an ostrich. It is around 28 centimeters big. So imagine your long ruler is 30 centimeters. So 28 centimeters, some, somewhat the size of your long ruler. Whereas the size of a hen's egg is only about 6 centimeters. So you can imagine 6 centimeters and 28 centimeters. So the largest cell is the egg of an ostrich. Now we come to the longest cell. The nerve cell in our body is the longest cell. So size of a cell is measured in microns, symbol for microns. Bacteria is the smallest cell. Egg of an ostrich is the largest cell. Nerve cell is the longest cell. Now, depending on the number of cells in our body, organisms are divided into two types. So we have <clears throat> unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. Unicellular from the name itself. Uni means one. Cellular coming from the term cell. So if an organism is made up of only one cell, we call it a unicellular organism. Example is bacteria. Bacteria is made up of only one cell. Multicellular from the name itself. Multi meaning many. And cellular cells. So if an organism is made up of many cells, then it is called a multicellular organism. For example, human beings, we are multicellular organisms. So once more, cell is a structural and functional unit of life. Structural because all living organisms are made up of cells. Functional because any function that we perform is actually being performed by cells. Anthony van der Weyhoff was the first person to construct a microscope. His microscope was called simple microscope. Later, Robert Hooke com uh, constructed the compound microscope. He was the first person to use or coin the term cell. Cell may be of different sizes and shapes. The smallest cell is bacteria, the largest cell is egg of an ostrich, the longest cell is a nerve cell, and then we have unicellular and multicellular organisms. Organisms made up of only one cell are called unicellular organisms, and organisms that are made up of many cells are called multicellular organisms. I hope you all understood what was done today. Thank you. Keep watching my videos. Bye-bye.